Hey everyone, my name is Jake, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how my team came to use Rundeck. So you can see on my screen, uh, my team is responsible for delivering this polling app service to our customers so that they can host surveys and polls for their company. So you can create a poll, add choices, uh, an expiration on when this poll closes and so on and so forth. Every so often a customer requests to have the name of their portal changed. So in this case, it's SurveyMania's poll and SurveyMania will ask us, hey, can you change this to polls for days uh, polling app instead? And because each customer's portal is clustered, there's quite a few steps involved in this. Um, and as with most other multi-step workflows that my team is responsible for, uh, such as remediating, remediating incidents of complex sorts, uh, we've documented all of this. Uh, as you can see here. Uh, so we have to pull each instance out of the load balancer, stop the instance, make changes to the service, start the service, verify that the change was successful, place the instance back into the load balancer, uh, and do the same for the second clustered instance. Um, and of course, you're supposed to log all of your work in JIRA. And this worked okay for a little while, but what we ran into is that some of our team members are way more advanced than others. And so some team members prefer to use the CLI for this, others prefer to use the AWS console. And then some team members just wrote their own scripts uh, or Ansible playbooks to automate the whole thing. Um, and as it turned out, that created other headaches because now those people wanted API keys for things like Jira uh, so they can automate the full workflow. But you know, our central IT team wasn't, wasn't too stoked about that. Also, what happened uh, every so often is that this workflows like these would change and the people that had gone through this workflow before uh, or who had scripted it tended to no longer refer back to the documentation. And as you can imagine, this becomes uh, a whole other set of problems. And so this is why we brought in Rundeck. Um, and what Rundeck does for us is it effectively encapsulates these workflows into an automated runbook. And um, you can see the steps for those here. And this means that any member of my team can fulfill this task in an automated fashion without needing direct access to the underlying systems or API keys to things like Jira. It also means that more junior members of my team can fulfill this complex workflow as efficiently as the advanced team members without the risk of running ad hoc scripts from their laptops, for example. So now what we do uh, in general is anytime there's a workflow we've identified as a quote unquote regular workflow, uh, meaning there is a task we see ourselves repeating, we have one of our advanced team members author a Rundeck job like this for that workflow. And actually some of our more junior members have begun to author uh, some of the more simple workflows as well. And then uh, they get the sign off from an advanced, uh, more tenured team member. And this is so that uh, any team member can accomplish that workflow without needing to depend on a more tenured person. And it also ensures that everyone's logging their activity the same way. And that's because as you can see here, the, the job is automatically post, posted in Jira. And right, anytime we need to update this workflow, uh, we simply update our Rundeck job. And now our automation is effectively our documentation, right? Because I can look at the Rundeck job and actually see what steps are being taken in our environment for this, this task. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you how this Rundeck job works in action to give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, so here I have, uh, oh, Minimize this. My existing customer name, uh, this was uh, Survey Mania. So we'll put in uh, Survey Mania. Um, the portal name, we can leave this uh, just for our demo purposes. And the updated customer name will be Polls for Days. And I can optionally run this on just one node or uh, against both. Um, let's go ahead and run this job. And again, we'll minimize this and we can expand one of these to see the steps that it's working through, right? It's, it's making sure it's got all the right info from AWS. It's removing this instance from the ELB target groups. Uh, it's stopping the front end service in this case, changing environment variables and then adding it back in. And that while it's doing that, I can actually show you, um, right, for the target group in question, you know, what's going on, right? So you hear it's, it's pulled out cluster member one, it's training that. Uh, and if we were to update this, all right, now it's added, adding it back in. So it's done with cluster member one, and then it's going to move on to cluster member two. And we can go back to run deck and check on its progress as well. And we'll wait for that to, to wrap up. Oh, and all right, as I should point out, right, I can go into any one of these steps and check the actual logs for any of these steps. So let's just stop the front end service. I'm not sure if that has any output or not. Yeah, here we go, right? So there we can actually see the, the log detail to see what's going on. 
And once it's completed, uh, we'll go back into our polling app. And this might take a second or two. Oh, there we go, polls for days. And so uh, we can see that the portal name is updated. And actually in, in Jira, um, you'll see that we've created our uh, change portal from survey made to polls for days. Uh, and it's already a resolved ticket. And in the notes of the ticket, we can actually see what cluster members we've modified as part of this workflow and their associated EC2 instance IDs. So at the end of the day, the Rundeck job has definitely cut down the time it took to do this process manually, uh, especially for those that were doing it manually. But just as importantly, it has ensured that every team member, regardless of tenure or technical expertise, is following the same standard operating procedures and the most up-to-date workflows. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.